Alright, what's going on guys? We're doing the Snapbind Bridge Heroic Challenge. Here we have a level 7 hero, 3 points into Swordsman, 2 points into Spiked Armor, one point, 2 points into Toughness, 1 point into Flurry, 3 points into Sam Warriors. And for our upgrades, we have level 3 into everything because this is level 3 max challenge. And starting off here, we're going to go ahead and pay 200 gold to clear up these two roundabout tower locations. are very important. I don't really like to pay gold to clear up things, but those are very important towers that we're willing to spend the money on. We're also going to go ahead and get 3 Buccaneers from the scum bar level two mage tower at the bottom level two mage tower on that key roundabout barracks like we had last time artillery like we had last time and then just some archer towers spread throughout you can see level three at the bottom level two at the very end just to clear up some of these anything that tries to get past it hits both sides which is really nice it's a very very useful tower and just have our hero chilling next to the barracks we may have we'll have to keep an eye on the bar on this buccaneers because we don't want them to die and I go ahead and put a barracks down there to help the buccaneers out. We really want something to tank for the buccaneers. And that is a pretty good spot for a barracks as long as we don't get them too close to the snap vine and have them eaten by the get eaten by a giant plant. But if we can get the barracks to tank and the buccaneers to throw their cocktails, it's gonna be very good for us. So going into wave three here, it's already wave three. It's a pretty quick level. We have level three artillery at the top it's gonna to do a ton of damage and sometimes as you can see the snap vines will actually eat the spiders and the other um, enemies which is good so you can use them to your advantage if you don't plant your stuff there we the level three artillery is gonna do a ton of damage and we'll just kind of have our hero chill back we don't want to take too much damage from the poison we're gonna get a nice impact there a nice hellfire and so far so good I'm only gonna put a mage tower at the top to try to do a little bit of chip on these guys as they walk across the plains you can hit them when they're out of the track, you know, if they're on the, the grassy area walking towards it, it counts as an area to hit. And so we'll go ahead and we'll probably call the weather a little bit earlier. That, yeah, nice bonus, 30 gold. And our hellfire is back up in case we need that. We have earth shamans at the bottom. We got healers at the top. Bloody of spiders. Another one gets eaten by the snap vines. Nice uh, environment is doing helping us there. We're going to try to save our buccaneers. Drop a nice... Um, Hellfire at the bottom. Looks like we do lose a couple, though. Maybe one, two. Alaric is helping out at the bottom. We get a level three mage tower and then a level four artillery at the top, doing massive damage. Got to be careful, though, because there are a lot of things. So I do end up rotating my hero to try to stall at the top side as well. Just a little bit, a little bit tight. Not too big deal. We lose a buccaneer, but, you know, what do you do? Sometimes it happens. And we'll hire another one just to keep that damage up. Rotator hero back down to the bottom. He's going to be busy this round, kind of going back and forth. If we can make it past the spiders here, we should be home free. Um, we got one more kind of final push here with the gorillas. And then sometimes the, the gorillas buffed by the shamans are, are kind of a threat. So we're really trying to isolate them by dropping reinforcements on them, as you can see. Gorillas by themselves aren't so bad, but once they get clumped up with the shamans and the healers, then they, they become a problem. So they are dying, though, to the level 3 archer tower and the level 4 mage tower. It's it a little tight because you can see there's one kind of full health one making its way back. But we drop some reinforcements. We upgrade the mage tower to level 3, and then level 4 once we got the money there. And our hero is helping out, doing, you know, summoning the sand warriors. So that was, that was clean, I would say. We're getting a totem area like we did last time. We got the totem at the bottom next to the buccaneer and the mage tower. And we're dropping a nice hellfire there. Clear the ground pounders, clearing up everything. We get a nice scorched earth upgrade, and this is the final wave. So if you can make it through this, you'll be good to go. I would just focus on that DPS, maybe put some more into archers, but I... Yeah, I went ahead and upgraded the barracks there. I wanted those buccaneers to stay alive as long as possible. Our hero is just going to be down there at the bottom helping out, killing this gorilla off. And then I'll probably ro rotate him back to the top side. Yep, there he goes. Nice uh, Nice thing about the gorillas is they give a lot of money when they die. So if you can kill them, big money. But they are threatening if they get deep into your lines. So hero back at the top. We're going to drop a nice hellfire, do some good damage, pretty much clearing up the shamans. And we just have one last little gorilla to clear. He's not going to get far, though, against the Sam Warriors and Alaric. Nice Scorched Earth there. He's taking so much damage. He's about to pop. And with that, um, goodbye, sir. Thank you, Dive. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and you guys have a good one.